We're here with Ohio Dominican softball coach Marcelo Van Landingham. Now, Coach, before we get into this season's preview, what are some of your final thoughts on last season? Uh, I mean, obviously, following uh, the kind of success we had the year before in 2014 and winning a conference uh, championship, I mean, it was disappointing. Um, obviously, that's uh, not how you want uh, your season to go after you, you win a championship. But uh, I think it was a good learning experience for those returning players uh, in our program, especially our seniors, I think they learned some valuable lessons. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think I did a great job, obviously, uh, preparing uh, my team like we should have, and uh, so I, I take responsibility for that. And I think just a couple things, you know, we had some players that didn't perform, um, probably up to what they are capable of performing, and um, missing a true number one starter in the circle uh, was probably a big, a big factor. Um, for us, but uh, I, I think at least by the uh, time we get to conference play this year, I think we've have that we'll have that uh, resolved. So, all right. Now we've been back from winter break for a couple of weeks now. How pleased are you with the way the team is forming as the regular season nears, and just how difficult is it to pre prepare for the upcoming season with this sort of holiday break um, in between, sort of um, limiting you when you have the athletes. Yeah, I mean, I'm extremely uh, pleased with where we're at um, right now with just over three weeks to go before we open open our season. Certainly I'm not uh, satisfied, and, and I understand uh, we have a long way to go and a lot of things to get done here in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, but it is a long season, and, uh, you know, I think this group will continue to get better day in and day out. I, I really like um, the focus that I see from them and the determination that they have to uh, to get better each day. And so I'm, I'm really excited about that. As far as the break goes, um, you know, it is what it is. You can't really do anything about it. Um, and I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Um, it's, it's good maybe to get a break there before you, you uh, get started with your season. So, um, you know, I think we took advantage of it. We had a couple of kids that were a little banged up and injured from the fall, so it gave them a chance to, to get healed up and, and ready to go when we, when we got back here in January. So, um, you know, it's a long season. and especially where we're at, um, having to practice indoors right now because of the weather and everything. Um, you know, you don't want to be indoors uh, that long anyway. Uh, so it, it's, it is what it is, and, and you learn to adjust and to adapt to it. Now the makeup of the roster this year consists of 16 players with a combined 10 being freshmen and sophomores. And you mentioned uh, playing a few games in the fall here. So how important was it to get the younger players some playing experience as they transition to the collegiate level? Yeah, I mean, that's a huge opportunity uh, for them. I, I think their biggest adjustment, obviously, is um, the speed of the game and just the, the knowledge of the game. And so that's it's a great experience for them to play, especially some of the competition. We played a couple D1 schools, so it's great to, for them to, to see that level of competition. Uh, but not only for our freshmen, I think it was great opportunity and experience for some of our returning players who are having to take on different roles and uh, maybe move some pos some players into some new positions and, and things like that. So I think it was a great, great experience for them. With a lot of younger athletes on the team, who are some of the upperclassmen you'll look to rely on when it comes to leadership on and off the field? Well, really, we only have four seniors and uh, two juniors. Um, so those seniors are going to be critical. All four of them are going to be critical. Um, you know, two of them are returning uh, starters from a year ago. The other two um, would have been starters, um, but injuries kept them out the entire season. Um, and I know those two um, are, are really hungry to get back on the field and, and make up for, you know, missing last season. And, and I think they have a new perspective um, because of, of having to sit out. And I think they've been able to, to send that, that message uh, and get some of those points across to, to the younger players in our program. So, I mean, like I said earlier, you know, I, I like where we're at. I think our, our seniors, they've been as good as I've been around uh, in a while. I mean, it's a great group. Uh, we're, they're all on the same page. They understand what we're trying to, to accomplish here, and they understand what the goals and the, and the expectations are, and, and they've provided um, tremendous leadership uh, to the younger players in our program so far. And then finally, what are just some of the expectations you have for the season ahead? Well, th this is a, a group of players um, with uh, a lot of talent. Uh, they're very athletic. Um, our numbers are down a little bit, so the depth is, is maybe a little bit of a concern. Um, but the players that we have are, are extremely uh, skilled. Uh, they're great softball players. And uh, more importantly, um, they're, they're a group of competitors, and uh, they want to win. 
and uh, they want to be successful. They've um, they've bought into what we've asked them to do, and I know those players that are returning from a year ago um, are very hungry. Um, they're disappointed because they are competitors. Uh, they're disappointed in the season uh, that we had, and uh, they're hungry and ready to get back out there and, and prove um, that uh, with some consistency, um, if we can figure out a way to be consistent uh, day in and day out, you know, um, I think we'll be a top team in the in the conference and have a chance to, to compete for a championship um, again. All right, good luck this season. Thank you.